In today's Entertainment City, Baywatch and Baby Bump Watch with the Carter and Clooney twins expected very soon. Let's take a look at the A-list baby boom. First up, of course, is Beyonce. Fans have been trying to calculate Bay's due date ever since her epic reveal on February 1st when the Carters broke the news and the internet by announcing they were expecting twins via a floral-inspired photo shoot posted on Beyonce's Instagram and website. The Lemonade Powerhouse also hasn't shied away from showing off that bump in a number of photos on Instagram and just this past weekend posted a push party, not to be confused with a baby shower. A push party allows both genders to attend and celebrates not only the babies, but the new journey the parents are about to undertake together. And twinning seems to be winning in 2017. Just a week after Beyonce shared her big news, we found out Amal Clooney was expecting twins too. <laughs> the news came after weeks of pregnancy rumors for Amal and after years of George insisting he'd never have children. Oh, how the times have changed. Word is the actor and lawyer are about to become mom and dad to one of each, a boy and a girl. As for when the Clooney twins are due to arrive, apparently any day now. And there are a handful of expected mothers in Hollywood, including Rosie Huntington-Whiteley and her fiance, Jason Statham. Set a superstar and Beyonce's pal, Serena Williams, also has a bun in the oven. She made her bump debut at the Met Gala earlier this month. This will be the first child for Williams and her fiance, Reddit co-founder, Alexis Ohanian. So once all of these babies do arrive, when will we get to see them? Traditionally, tabloids compete to get the A-list baby exclusive, shelling out big bucks for photos, for example. People Magazine and Hello Magazine jointly purchased the rights for the first public images of Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie's twins back in 2008 for $14 million, which the now estranged couple donated to charity. However, don't expect Beyonce and Jay-Z to go that route. When their daughter Blue Ivy was born five years ago, they shared the photos on Tumblr. So this time around, we suggest keeping a close eye on Bay's Instagram account. From Bump Watch to Baywatch. Welcome to Baywatch. The raunched up version of the 90s classic TV show hits the big screen on Friday with Dwayne The Rock Johnson reincarnating David Hasselhoff's character Mitch Buchanan and Zac Efron playing an overconfident new recruit. But enough about them. Let's talk about the women of Baywatch. Starting with Priyanka Chopra, the Bollywood superstar who's making her Hollywood feature debut as the villainous Victoria Leeds, a role originally written for a man. She's a force to reckon with. You know, not a, a lot of girls can say you took on the rock, you know. I really want to be one of the champions to pave the way for interesting casting. Chopra's fellow females are relative newcomers. Alexandra Dodorio, who plays Summer Quinn, is a rising actress who's actually worked with The Rock before. She played his daughter in San Andreas and will reprise that role in an upcoming sequel. And taking over for Pamela Anderson as CJ Parker is Kelly Rohrbach. So will this R-rated makeover work? Well, it isn't the first movie based on a retro TV show, although many past examples aren't what you'd call big successes. Chips, The A-Team, Bewitched and the Dukes of Hazard, which did okay at the box office, but was critically panned. But then there's 21 and 22 Jump Street, so there's hope for Baywatch. We'll have to wait and see what the box office numbers tell us this weekend. And coming up tomorrow, our chat with Canadian songstress Serena Ryder.